Hi everyone, my name is Outlaw58D. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a good one. Um, currently, this video is a little bit different as I am currently driving the Viser Neo, the new sports car as of recording this, uh, released today, pretty much, as of recording this. And trying to drive it, trying to get a feel for it. It is, this is my review in my opinion, and a bit, a bit of a guide on how to drive this car fast. So, let's get straight into it. First of all, the Vicer Neo is the second most expensive sports car, very fast. Uh, to back it up though, uh, well not very fast, but pretty fast for its price. It's not going to be as fast or consistent as the Pro, and I'll tell you why in a little bit. Um, this car looks very nice. I, I like the look of it. Tail is not too much of my style, but it's whatever. I like the look, rest of the car, the look of it. Um, th I don't know. This car... Let's first of all run down what it's got. It is an all-wheel drive with a 50-50 power ratio split. Let me see if I have that right. I need to go to the handle. Uh, I'm getting most of my uh, information from Bruffy1322. He does all the testing videos and whatnot. So it's a 50-50 power, power split front rear. So it's an all-wheel drive vehicle. Um, not too bad for its launch. You can get about three quarter to get that performance, so it's fairly decent. Pulls on the front a little bit more than the rear, uh, but that's weight transferred to the rear. Um, sound of it, reused. Uh, I've heard that sound in many other vehicles. Uh, uh, that type of sound at least uh, it's just lowered down to a different octave or octave chain whatever the fuck you want to call it uh, compared to it's got a well not compared to but its weight is 1300 1400 kilograms so that's that's all right for for its weight uh, definitely a little bit on the light side comparing it to some like the Pariah let me scroll down here a bit the Pariah is around 1500 so for the exact weight difference it's 110 kilograms lighter than the Pariah uh, it does handle pretty similar to the Pariah, uh, but it is so, it is really weird on how this handles. Um, on the brakes, it wants to tend to really put a lot of weight in the front, making the rear really wishy-washy. Um, so keep that in mind when you're getting on the brakes hard is that you're going to want to be on the brakes a little bit easier a little bit more gently um, as far as its top speed it's all it's pretty decent uh, top 10 in the sports car class uh, it's ranked sixth in the raceable vehicle so very good very respectable um, but yeah that there really isn't much to this vehicle other than it's all right. It's pretty decent. Around the course, though, meh is what I give. This car is just a little trickier than I had thought at first. And with practice, this car is fast, but I don't recommend if you're a little newer to the game, a little too newer to the vi to vehicle driving, like see right there, on normal vehicles, that wouldn't happen. Uh, that's a combination of things, the weight balance, uh, the 
not necessarily the brake balance because I didn't hit the brakes once. Uh, the quick disclaimer: this does have the advanced handling flags for the suspension. Uh, no engine resistance, like the Arena War. V uh, uh, the Arena War vehicles, they didn't have engine resistance as well, so that's at least a plus. But it does have a little bouncy suspension. Uh, if I were to compare it to a dip another car with handling flags, I would say this would be closest to what we have. This is very close to what we had with the Vesta 8 before we had the update to flagged vehicles uh, last Thursday before the update. Um, but yeah, uh, as a little bit of a guide to driving this fast, a uh, few tips, I would say, uh, throttle inputs need to be smooth, you don't want to really get on them too hard, like you can, but to keep the weight transfer as smooth as possible, keep the input smooth unless you have the weight down on the vehicle uh, brake inputs you want to tap the brakes most of the time just rapid tap them uh, like kind of like that you know see on my screen uh, but as far as holding down the brakes I don't recommend uh, I'm gonna try and take a fast lap around Vinewood Hills Raceway. Uh, you guys saw this course on race three of the Flush Racing Series, or no, not race three, but race two, when we did the muscle cars. So I've done a little bit of practice already with this vehicle, try to get a feel for it, because I want to get a bit of a surefied opinion on it, you know? See there, have to be very patient. You gotta be very patient with this car. And that is the key to driving a lot of cars from the Arena War update is having the patience to hang on to these cars. That corner's a bitch. Get light, get slight there, and I crash. We're just gonna continue on. Uh, when this thing gets light, it gets very hard to control. Uh, either wants to get loose or wants to get tight. You know, uh, if you don't know what the, what it means. For the car to get tight, I mean pushy, it doesn't want to turn, it doesn't want to rotate. Be very patient around that corner there. You can be flat out here. Tap the apex there. You can go right across through here. Went too aggressive there. This does have very good brakes uh, compared to some other sports cars, so I'll give it a plus side on that. That corner's a bitch. Get up here. Now you can use the looseness of the rear end to get the car rotated just how you want it to. But there you have it lap around Vinewood Hills Raceway with my review and opinion of this vehicle. Um, it is a very nice car. I would have to say that. A uh, very challenging vehicle to drive even for me. I, I consider myself to be above average. But this vehicle I would have to put it as a buyer beware. Like don't consider buying this if you want something fast and consistent you're still gonna want to go for the pariah uh, look for this vehicle when it is on sale um, but yeah there you have it hope you guys enjoyed if you did smash the like button subscribe for more GTA 5 content hit the notification bell that way you guys get notified for every time I upload or go live 
This will be Outlaw58D signing off. Peace.